Welcome back to Outlook Portland. If you'll recall last fall, we introduced you to an innovative new program here in Multnomah County called Project Clean Slate, which is literally changing the lives of thousands of people. And today for return engagement are the two key players in Project Clean Slate, businessman Roy Jay and Multnomah County District Attorney Mike Schrunk. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. Thanks for having us back, Nick. Good Thanks, to see you. Nick. Hey, we got such a great reaction to the program on Project Clean Slate. And Roy, the news keeps getting better. We're going to talk about that this yeah. morning. The, the, the news out of Salem. You were in a national publication recently. There's been awards. You guys are justifiably proud of what you've accomplished. But let's remind people, what is Project Clean Slate? Uh, Nick, the, Project Clean Slate is, is pretty simple. It's, it's a program that's, that was designed to help people be able to get back to work. If, you know, by way of getting them back a driver's license, helping them out with uh, negotiating uh, uh, child support, and more importantly, being able to to expunge some minor criminal things that are standing in their way from uh, them being able to get employment. So there are literally tens of thousands of people in our community that have unpaid speeding tickets, have minor criminal violations, and because of that, they can't get started in life. They're not going to get past the first background check at a job. Absolutely. They're going to they're going to live their lives in right. fear of being pulled over if they're driving or whatever. <clears throat> so, Mike Schrunk, you're a prosecutor, longtime prosecutor here. What drew you? I mean, you're in the business of prosecuting crimes, and here we are giving people a second chance. What drew you to this idea? It's one of the crucial parts of a complete community public safety plan. We know a whole lot of people get jammed up. They get convicted. Uh, whether it be traffic, whether it be misdemeanors, uh, minor uh, things, and then how do they get out? Uh, this is a needful population, and what we've do, done is we've tried to figure out a way to get them out of the jam, uh, give them a chance to show some responsibility, own up to it, work their way out of it, and clean up the record. And that's, cl that's an important point. It's not a free pass. You have to do community service. Ab Correct. Absolutely, it's not. But we find out that if we can clean these people up, uh, if they get a clean slate, public housing, health care, education, employment opportunities, and then I don't see them again. They don't become grown-up felons. So It's great. So if nothing else, the taxpayers out there ought to have a, a thank you to both of you because you're taking people out of the system and helping them become productive well, citizens. You know, what, what happens is, and, and I've, I've talked to literally hundreds and, and probably maybe thousands of people that either went through this program or trying to get in, into the program, they, they, they can't get employment, so they, they find alternative methods for them to make money, basically money underneath the table, uh, doing whatever, and then they, they go and get on these programs uh, which cost everybody money because they can't get a legitimate job. Nick, we've got we've got construction workers, we've got people that work in dentist office, we've got people that work downtown that are in that same situation just like this young man. I mean, you would be surprised how many times we get calls from folks that are telling us that their wives, girlfriends, mothers are driving them to construction sites, plumbers that, that, that can't drive the company truck because they have no driver's license, and it's 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 detrimental for small businesses, detrimental for families. Mike, a notion of a, of a just society is that if you, if you make a mistake, you, you, you pay your price, you, 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 you find the, a proper punishment, but you give someone a chance to move forward. I mean, we, we're not a society that just wants to demonize people and prevent them from living constructive lives. No, and that's the best thing we can do. We want to make them productive men and women in society, uh, employed taxpayers uh, like the three of us. And this is a great step. And still, we're not rolling over and playing dead. Uh, there's accountability, and that's important. Uh, and there's accountability is good for people to know what they've done. Uh, we hear victims. Yes, that's, that's accountable. That's acceptable with us, what's happening. Uh, we think that's fair. That's right. Now, we're not talking about murders, rapists, armed robbers. Uh, this is a whole different part of the spectrum. Misdemeanors, lower level stuff. Right, right. Now in terms of punishment, I guess I read somewhere that it's what, roughly about eight hours of community service for every hundred dollars? That's about right. Correct. So, and these people are then going to go out and help clean our streets, keep our parks looking well, nice, and do other kinds of things? Some, some of that is, 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 is true from a community service standpoint, but they also have to attend mandatory what we call personal and community responsibility classes on how they can also give back uh, things that are going to help change their lives, 
this is not about just going out and cleaning up the free freeways. Some people may be on the verge of possibly even being able to graduate from high school. We, we're looking at, at other ways of being them being able to do community service as we start to get more stats on the people coming in. They can graduate and get a GED, and maybe that's going to help eliminate that $4,000 worth of fines. Roy, there's so many good stories to tell. We're going to take a break, and when okay. we come back, we'll talk more about those stories and also some, some good news out of the governor's office. This is Outlook Portland. Please stay tuned.